The Mercedes AMG C-Class has long been a paragon of burbling V8 power under the hood with a brilliant soundtrack out the back. From the original C43 to the later C55 and C63 models, there's always been this bent eight smoothness to go along with its brilliant performance. Well, that formula might be changing a little bit with the 2023 Mercedes AMG C63 S E Performance. <sighs> That mouthful means that there's a turbocharged two liter four cylinder under the hood and an electric motor mounted to the rear axle that give this vehicle a prodigious 680 horsepower. There may no longer be a V8 under the hood, but I promise you this is still going to be one bitchin' ride. To stay up to date on all the latest sports sedans and supercars, be sure to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media using the handle at MotorOne.com. And if you want more details about the C63 in particular, there's a link to our story in the video description. But for now, while we're here in person, let's take a closer look. As on previous AMG branded C-Classes, this new 63 is immediately discernible from lesser siblings like the C300 and C43. First of all, there's a big wide Panamericana grille with these cool vertical strakes that have been a touchstone of Mercedes products past and present. And then there's also a big three-pointed star right in the middle where you'd expect to see it. However, this badge right here has been switched from the traditional wreath and laurel three-pointed star to an AMG Afalterbach crest. It's a really cool touch that I think helps this car set itself apart from the rest of the lineup. I'm usually a traditionalist, but I think this works great. And then further up the hood, there's a little vent right here that helps kind of evacuate some of the high heat that happens with that turbocharged four-cylinder, and it dovetails beautifully into these twin hood bulges that have been a Mercedes hallmark for a very long time. Around the side, there aren't too many huge visual changes between this car and the standard C-Class, with one big exception. The car has a three inch wider track, which means that it has big, beautiful blistered fenders that help hide these meaty 20 inch wheels. It looks great and has a very planted stance that will also help with straight line stability and cornering when you're hammering down a fun road. Otherwise, there aren't too many huge changes. The side skirts have been deepened a little bit to improve aerodynamics around the car, but by and large, there's not a whole lot going on here that you wouldn't find in another C-Class. The standard wheels are 19 inches. This particular vehicle has the 20 inch black wheel package and it's hiding carbon ceramic brakes with six piston front and one piston rear calipers. Very cool hardware for sure. Around back, there aren't too many changes that differentiate this vehicle from other cars in the C-Class lineup. There's definitely a deeper rear diffuser that helps improve aerodynamics. And if you have the aero package like this car, it has a little fin underneath to kind of improve the appearance a little bit. There's also a little trunk lid spoiler that again, helps clean up the air as you're driving down the road. But by and large, this is kind of a planted muscular Q ship rather than a big shouty, aggressive muscle car. But what good are all of those visual changes if there isn't some genuine performance to back it up? That's where the E-Performance powertrain comes in. In addition to that turbocharged two liter four cylinder I mentioned before, there's also a torque rich electric motor mounted to the rear axle, powered by a 6.1 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery that runs on a 400 volt architecture. The sum total of all of that technological jargon is 680 horsepower and 752 pound feet best ever numbers for any C-Class, and I'm fairly certain among the best numbers of any AMG product ever in history. Mercedes estimates that this car will hit 100 kilometers an hour or 62 miles an hour in 3.4 seconds, and I'm actually fairly certain that that number is a bit conservative. Given all of that power on offer and the fact that this is the very first all-wheel drive C63 in history, we might see that number break into the twos. The internal combustion engine itself has its own superlative to brag about too. Making 476 horsepower on its own, this is the most powerful four-cylinder in the world, routing all of that grunt through a nine-speed AMG multi-clutch transmission instead of a torque converter auto. The gearbox should be pretty snappy and it'll conspire with a lag-reducing electrically driven and turbocharger and that rear EV motor to give the C63 excellent response. When the going gets curvy, the steel sprung suspension has a standard rear axle steering and adaptive dampers to improve both agility and ride comfort. The Mercedes AMG C63 S E Performance will launch in global markets later this year, with US sales likely starting sometime next year. And although it only has half the cylinders of any previous C63, it has a spec chart that humbles AMG's own in-house supercars. Therefore, I really don't think we need to worry too much that downsizing and electrification mean the end of really fun driving experiences. As always, thanks for watching.